Hello everyone, people. Today we will extract gold from old processors, here I have 50 of them. Here are 5 stacks of 10 pieces. You can see how the contacts of the processors shine. Here is such a model, well, basically here Intel Celeron at 2 GHz 1.7 GHz, they were all taken from old computers, not working ones. Let's see what we can do. How much gold will they make? Well, let's put one pile on the scales. It turns out we have each, 50 grams. Well, now let's measure this one. Well, 50 G each stack. That is, it turns out here we have 250 G of processors. Quarter kilogram. Now what do we need to do? First of all, these contacts should be dismantled. From these covers. For this I will use solder thinner. If you look under magnification, we get that each contact is soldered like a carnation. And the solder itself contains gold. So, let's prepare the solder solvent now. I take a glass for 1 liter. And here I will pour. Before doing this, be sure to wear protective gloves. Because acid splashes, burns may occur. We put on protective goggles. And the first thing I do is pour the urea in here. I have one and a half grams of urea here. I cover the water with water, I already have a measured volume of 200 milliliters here. I add water. I stir until completely dissolved. So urea dissolves very quickly. Well, almost everything is gone. I prepared 50 milliliters of nitric acid. Pour nitric acid here. So, it immediately got cloudy. Urea nitrate fell out, then I completely add water here. 200 milliliters leftovers, and here I pour 12 g of citric acid. This solution will allow us to dissolve the solder. Gold will be released from the solder. Now I am pouring all the remaining nitric acid here. I got 250 milliliters of solder thinner. Well, it goes about the processor one to one. For 250 grams of processors 250 milliliters of solder thinner. So, everything solder solvent is ready. Carefully, we need to offer all the processors here. Fold carefully. Well, in principle, everything sticks out a little, of course, some part, but I will mix, shift. And thus everything falls apart. I will turn on to show.
an hour has passed. Well, look here. All processors are literally 80% without pins. The solution turned black. It became black for a reason, because gold was released from the solder. Tin has dissolved, gold does not dissolve. And then it fell out into the solution, now I'll show you what else the sediment is from below. The black precipitate is mostly gold. Well, all the contacts below. Now I'll leave it for about half an hour, and then rinse it already and do the settling. For an hour and a half, all contacts fell off. And now we need to carefully pour this black solution. And what would he stand for? That is, this is the black powder that is in the solution of this gold. Now it needs to be washed. Wash the lids. By the way, you can then make a video purely on these covers. How much gold is in them? Well, of course there is a miser here. Well, I will definitely make a video on them. So now we need to wash these contacts again. Rinse well with water. From black mud. And I'll leave this for settling, that is, then the solution will stand here, all the gold will settle. So I will wash it, and then we will do it by the classical method. Because many don't have either yellow blood salt, or red blood salt, you could wash it off. But we will do it with a simple classical method. We will etch the base from here. I cover the washed contacts with sulfuric acid. This is dilute sulfuric acid with a density of 1.28, that is, an electrolyte. We cover but if your electrolyte density is higher, then you need to dilute it with water. We cover, set to heat, so in principle we can already gradually add nitric acid here. I have nitrogen technical 57%. Etch the base to release the gold. Add. The reaction is over. All metal is etched away. All the gilding does not sink to the bottom, but is located in Rostvor, that is, it is very light, there is no metal anymore. The electrolyte consumption was 125 milliliters. Nitric acid took 60 milliliters. Now I will dilute with water, put to cool. Well, we will catch the gilding on the filter. transferred to a beaker. Here's the gilding. It's already dried up. There are a lot of impurities here, so there is no point in melting it right away. We need to dissolve it in aqua regia and then precipitate pure gold. So, now I'll show you more, that's what I managed to take from the soda solvent. This is such a dust of gold. 
After settling, I treated it with nitric acid and the rest was like this. By the way, the soda also contained a small amount of silver. And here is the gold. I upload everything here. Dissolve in aqua regia. She stood in the sun and turned yellow. 2 milliliters of nitric acid and 6 milliliters of hydrochloric acid 30% nitric acid 57% and pour. So now I'm warming up. Another 5 minutes and then we will filter. The solution boiled and its color became more yellow, but still the solution was dirty. Plus, it's also cloudy, because there are always some left-handed metals in imports. I add 2 grams of sodium acetate to bind the acids. But if now it doesn't get cloudy at all, well, there didn't seem to be any sediment. Let's do the first deposition and see what we get. If a large residue falls out, simply boil in nitric acid. I will use hydrazine hydrochloric acid to restore. Well, I add drop by drop. Let's see what beauty we will have now. Now I'll boil it and see how much gold we get and what it will be, but by the way I see that it's large. Fetocheck I boiled it in nitric acid because it was stuck with borax. Now wash off the nitric acid. Well let's see what we got. Naturally imported processor is very poor. But for the sake of the experiment, in principle, I made this review to see how much it turns out, well, let's see. What a piece we have well, how it shines. Yes, very nice piece. This is how the slab turned out. But by the way, with processors like these, less pure gold is obtained. Approximately 900 samples. Contains a lot of impurities. In the gilding. Gold got now put on the scales. And let's see how much weight we have. This is how the mass of 0.3G turned out. By the way, I had a review, there were 25 processors there, well, there were more processors. The content was twice as much, but the mass turned out to be the same. Here is the result of this experiment. Now let's consider what we can do. 
0.3 g divided by 50 processors is 0.006 grams multiply by 1000 we get the number in milligrams for one processor for one piece we have six milligrams of gold pentium 4 and accordingly 250 g is 0.3 one kilogram of such processors contains 1.2 grams here is such a poor material in the lids, of course, I don't know. Has anyone checked? The lids contain even less. Some traces there, maybe the third sign will just be a 5. Rate this video like friends a lot of work has been done. Good luck to everyone for now.